I've had Chisos boots for three years, and in that time, I've had them resold, and I've solidified my opinion about these boots. So stay tuned, because I'm going to share my experience with these boots, so you can decide if they're going to be right for you. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome back to the channel today. Recently, the Chisos Boots owner, Will Roman, reached out to me looking for ways to support this channel. And he wanted to sponsor a three-year update on my experience with the number one Chisos boot. So I was happy to oblige. Huge thanks to Will Roman and Chisos Boots for their support. These Chisos boots have been a part of my rotation for the past three years. And since I regularly test boots, I didn't wear these every single day, but I did wear them enough for them to get a resole. Since I'm up here in the Northeast, I wore these boots a lot in rainy and snowy conditions. And the issue is when you do that with boots with leather outsoles, a lot of the times, is that the leather outsole will soak up that moisture, it will expand and contract, so eventually leather outsoles will separate from the welt if the glue isn't super, super strong, which is the case with a lot of factory boots. It's happened a lot of times with my boulets, which I've had resold six times. It's happening to some Tony Llamas that I have. So it's pretty normal for that to happen. And since it did happen with these, I figured I'd just take the opportunity to get them resold with a rubber outsole, which doesn't soak up that moisture and water. So it won't separate from the welt like leather outsoles do in wet conditions. A lot of that is just because that's the way leather is, but it also comes down to the glue that the boot makers use to secure the outsole to the welt in addition to the stitches. I will say that I've worn my BNV boots much more in similar conditions, and these still have the original outsole. There is no separation from the welt, so BNV is using a stronger glue than what Chisos did, but for the most part, you're going to get that with any factory boot that you get. Tony Llamas, Boule, you name it. That's going to happen when you wear your boots a lot in wet weather when you have leather outsoles. And that's why I went with a rubber sole resole and I'll also get more grip for those wet conditions and snowy days. Now I tried to go with the boot repair shop that repairs the most Chisos boots and they actually have the Chisos heel caps as well, but after a few messages and phone calls, I didn't hear back from them, so I just went with my friends over at cartersboots.com, and they did a great job on my rubber resole. Now let's talk about three years with the famous Chisos insole, because it's so different from anything else on the marketplace. This insole is really thick, and I didn't experience it flattening out at all. Now this insole is also tried to have been copied by some other companies out there, including Tacova's in their ranch wear line. The insole in here is very similar. It has a leather lined top and the foam underneath it, but it's not as thick as the Chisos insole. And also they didn't take fit into mind when they made that boot. So it fits really, really sloppy. The Chisos boots, are made with special lasts that consider the thickness of their insole when they're building the boot. So it really works very, very well in this boot and there's seriously no other feeling like it that I've tried on the marketplace. Now I break in a lot of new boots to share my experience on this channel and whenever I needed a break from breaking in boots, I would go to this boot because the insole would seriously give my feet a enormous break. The cushion is great, but it's not just cushion, it's also support. So you have cushion and support in this boot, traditionally made, it feels spectacular. The only thing that held me back from wearing this even more was the fact that they don't have narrow widths. So I'm a true size 12B, that's a narrow width, and they make D widths. So at times I found that my toes were a little bit cramped up here in the toe box and I didn't really want to wear them for several days in a row just because my toes would end up hurting because they don't make B widths, which is kind of a shame. Hopefully they will in the future because I would love to experience Chisos on that every single day level. Another thing with the insole is that the red dye on the leather liner 
definitely bleeds onto the socks if you're wearing white socks anyways. So if you have socks that you care about and you don't want them to get red, then wear black socks. But other folks I've seen in the Chisos Facebook group see that red dye on their socks as kind of like a bragging rights. Yeah, I'm breaking in my Chisos boots sort of thing. And I think that's cool too. I don't really care either way. They're socks, they're in the boots. It doesn't matter to me. But just know that you can see that the red does bleed off of the leather. By the darker spots, you can actually see black showing through the red leather dye on this insole. And the final note that I have about this insole is that when you're wearing these boots, you feel really tall because that insole is so thick. There's about an inch and a half heel here, but then you have another half an inch, if not a whole inch, of insole. So you feel super tall when you're wearing these, and it doesn't even look like you should be that tall because there's only an inch and a half of heel here. So if you're a shorter guy and you're looking for a little bit extra boost without showing that you're wearing like a two and a half inch heel, then the Chisos will give you that extra boost for sure. Now let's talk about the foot leather and my experience breaking it in. This is made with dairy cow leather, which I've heard mixed things about. A lot of folks say that it should only be used for upholstery, you know, couches or seats in cars, and that it stretches a lot when it's used for cowboy boots or footwear. I did not find that this stretched a lot. In fact, I wish it did stretch a little bit more because like I said, my toes up here were feeling kind of cramped at times. I didn't feel like this stretched any more than a bullhide boot or something else other than dairy cow. I like how soft it is and it broke in great and it keeps getting softer and softer and softer the more that I wear it. They felt supple from day one and they didn't get too stretched out or break in too sloppy. Overall, I feel like these fill a unique need in the cowboy boot industry. They are made traditionally, but they have an epic insole. So for those of you who are looking for a high quality boot, the way that they were used to be made with a hard leather insole, but just want a little bit more cushion or a lot of bit more cushion, then the Chisos is for you because there seriously is no other feeling like the Chisos at all. The insole is completely different from anything else that I've ever tried. I think the glue that they use to secure the leather outsole onto these is just average, but I also like the opportunity to put a rubber outsole on these boots. What about your experience with Chisos? Have you tried them for a year or more? Let me know your experience down in the comments for all the folks coming through so that they can decide whether or not to get a pair of Chisos for themselves. A huge thanks again to Will Roman for sponsoring this video today. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace. Three years of Chisos and they stay in the test of time With leather and insoles that leave you feeling fine Completely unique from any other boot that I've tried. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this Chiso's Extended Test Review video up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up here and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Peace. Have a good one.